Hi guys, happy new year and happy holidays. Hope you all had a good day seeing all the fireworks. It's New Year's Day now, 2017 here in Aussie, Aussie Australia. And um, I didn't get to do too much. Like I went to the beach for like half an hour and I just saw a little bit of fireworks but they were like so far away so yeah. I just spent my night just, you know, watching a bit of telly and TV and watching I Love, Lucy, I Love Lucy's show. And yeah, um, watched the Midnight Fireworks. It was awesome night. Lazy, you know. <laughs> Can't do much when there's so many big people around and just all, yeah, it's crazy on New Year's night. But anyways, um... I'm going to do a different background today. I'm just walking around my house and I'm going to talk to you about two awesome facts about myself that's related to old Hollywood. Yeah, so this is um, kind of related to what happened or what I did in LA two years ago October 2014 so I'm just getting distracted a lot there's bugs flying around sorry <laughs> yeah so this is all about um, two little things that I experienced and saw two years ago in October of 2014 that's related to old Hollywood trust me Anyone that likes old Hollywood, I think you'll like to hear this. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. All right. So, when I was in LA at the start of October 2014, like I said, I did um, this celebrity tour thing. Like, just went on this um, kind of van type thing that shows you all the mansions of from Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills anywhere in, in Hollywood so yeah we went through that we, we looked at all the celebrities houses it was amazing just really awesome I can keep the memory in, in my mind forever so uh, I guess you Lucille Ball fans and I love Lucy fans would love to hear this and yeah apparently when we're driving through Beverly Hills we drove past Lucille Ball's mansion that she lived in for years. It was like, um, kind of a, sh not, not a big, big house, but not a really nice house. It was all nice, white and all that. I'm not sure, not sure what's going to go on with the house now since Lucille hasn't been around for like nearly 25 years, but yeah, it was awesome seeing her house, seeing what it looks like. Yeah, my mum beside me was like, Oh, Lucille Ball's house, Lucille Ball's house. I didn't actually know Lucille Ball back two years ago. Funny that. Yeah, I didn't know her around the time. So I was like, oh, nice, oh, nice. And then mum just recently told me that we went past a house and I then remembered. It's like, oh, my God, we passed Lucille Ball's house. She's like one of my favorite comedians and actresses of the 1950s. I'm obsessed with the Arv Lucy show. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe we actually passed a house and oh my god I'm a huge fan I'm I'm in shock still over that and yeah since we since I spoke to you spoken to you about Lucille Ball I'm going to say this is the second fact about me and old Hollywood fans would love to hear this one too when we went to Universal Studios Hollywood we um went past we were on another tool thing in, in the studios we, we went past the Bates Motel from Psycho. You know, Psycho, that thriller, that scary movie from Alfred Hitchcock with Janet Leigh and Anthony Perkins. Perkins? Yeah, so we actually went past the um, Bates Motel and there was the the creepy old house in the background. The place didn't actually look too creepy because there was a big ice cream cone in the background. So it was like, it wasn't really that scary. Like, <laughs> because it was in colour. I finally um, found out what colour the base motel is. It's actually not that 
not like really that creepy as you guys would think it'd be, but it's not really that creepy at all. But it was awesome seeing that. Um, huge fan of horror movies. I've been a fan since then, and yeah, it was awesome seeing the psycho set there. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, Janet Lee's been there like <laughs> nearly 60 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I love that movie. I like that movie a lot. And we actually went on set and just drove past it. I wish we explored around the place, but yeah, what can you do? Yeah, so I drove, we drove past Lucille Ball's mansion and drove past the Bates Motel where it's been filmed. It was awesome. So I thought I could share a video with you guys about my old Hollywood experience in real life. Two awesome facts about me that's related to old Hollywood. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought I'd give you guys a bit of story time, especially with the cute background of my house. So, some happy new year, everyone. Hope you guys have a safe and wonderful year. Hopefully, 2017 will be good this year. No celebrity deaths this year, please. Just no, no. That's a huge no-no from me. Okay. So talk to you guys in my next video. Please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope I interested you guys in this video. Alright, see you guys later.